And we're underway. Looking at these two men, I don't think there's going to be anything traditional about this one-on-one -on -one matchup. Into the collar and elbow tie-up. Only one competitor comes out ahead here. Yeah, this is one of the classic ways to test your opponent. Well, on the topic of Seth Rollins here, tell us your thoughts. Finn Balor's coup de grace is quickly becoming one of my favorite signature moves in all of WWE. It's so simple, yet so effective. Definitely looking confident in this one-on-one -on -one environment. That's a good sign. Terrific reversal by Finn Balor. Look at this vicious onslaught. Rollins is just awesome. King, I don't think Finn Balor's opponent to share the same appreciation for the coup de grace that you have. It Why? What? It has to be terrifying to look up and see Balor flying through the air, about to come down on your chest. Yeah, you're right. And he doesn't just come down on your chest. He really drives those feet in. Almost like he's trying to cave the chest in. Quick thinking to avoid that. Well, there's no wiggle room here for Seth Rollins. We're seeing two outstanding athletes looking to prove their dominance in there. But only one can walk out victorious. Who will it be? Make no mistake about it, Seth Rollins is in trouble here. There's not much Finn Balor can't do in that ring. From high flying to quick kicks to submission wrestling. Let's face it, this kid can do it all. Might be smart for the ref to call for the bell. That neck looks to be in bad shape. He's in big trouble. Uh-oh. That's called being driven straight down to the canvas. What power. No kidding. That was an I'm going for the cover. And it's up. He got the shoulder up. He's pulling out all the stops tonight. My God, his body's been through hell and his ribs have bore the brunt of the attack. Man, I hope we can get a doctor out here as a precaution. Damaged ribs like that can make it hard to breathe. Well, King did it again. As you mentioned earlier, there's not much that Finn Balor can't do in the ring. And you have to think that comes from years of traveling the globe, learning different styles and different ways to beat your opponent. What is he, 100 years old? He's absorbed all those different styles and molded them in his own unique style? There really is nobody else quite like him. Finn Balor scores with a tremendous move. A shot like that and you feel it for weeks this guy's just too strong the shoulders are down and a kick out and that's all that matters this match continues now cole if that won't beat this guy nothing will this is what makes him one of the best in the business finn balor going high risk boy there's no way he's going to be able to stand after that not this the coup de gras is going to be the coup de gras. Does the coup de gras mean this thing's over? We all know the amazing array of moves Seth Rollins. What a victory! What a match! Here's your winner, Finn Balor! Big singles win here, guys. Hey, they both gave it their all. But in the end, we were left with the best man standing. I couldn't agree more. What an amazing contest that was.